eh eh zazu eh what you want but eh eh zazu hey i really don't know this noise in my on my street i want to shoot a video i don't know if you guys can hear the noise okay i think it's reduced now hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is victoria and i film from lagos nigeria so in today's video here you can tell by the title um i will be showing you guys how to create um a, an, a new profile a new outlook profile on a mac device are you ready so this is one of the things that i realized that some customers don't know how to do most especially the older people that owns a mac device they really don't know how to create a new profile on their mac device so why should you create a new profile so basically sometimes um the profile you're currently on get corrupt or um something something just get wrong you cannot send or receive um, um emails from your outlook so um the next thing you're supposed to troubleshoot like the troubleshooting step you're supposed to take to is to create a new profile you can name it a test profile and see if you can um receive mails from that profile so if you can send and receive from the profile then you know that the previous profile is the problem before going to probably another troubleshooting step or maybe you just um bought um a macbook and you want to set up your outlook um application so this video is going to help you in doing that so without further ado let's jump right into this video okay okay let's get started so this is my mac device so now we'll be creating um a new profile on um this device so um you go to your finder this is your finder you click on it then this is the outlook application so basically um this is already on the application so once you open the finder and uh, it's not directly on your application you just come here and click on application so it shows you your application then you locate um the microsoft outlook this is the microsoft outlook so you click on control you do control click then it shows you these options then you go for show package content so this is content you double click then you click on shared support shared support then you double click again then this is the outlook profile manager you click on it so i did a control click then i open so um now opening it has a profile there before but we are creating a new profile so um i'm just gonna click on this plus sign to create a new profile then i'm just going to erase this and type um the name i want let's say new profile new profile so yeah okay so we set this profile as default so that it, it doesn't open this previous profile we have so you click on this icon here this drop down it will show you set as profile and um, set as default then you click set as default so now we can go ahead to our application then double click on microsoft outlook to open the application so it should be about to open now you can see it here is mobbling up so now we've created the new profile now we want to add our email address 
so now i'll be adding my email address um okay let me add my email address at gmail.com so this is my gmail this is my gmail address connect so it wants me to sign in it's because i'm adding a gmail address because any email you are adding on um on outlook if it's not um an exchange account like outlook.com um, msn.com um which other outmail.com all those um emails they are um exchange accounts so you can add them directly on your outlook it won't ask you any further like um server settings or port number but if you're adding any emails that is not an exchange account maybe you have a gmail account you have a bt internet account you have um, a yahoo mail account you have um um icloud account any other account they are not um an exchange account so when you're setting your email up it asks you for server settings server code but now i've not signed in um to this laptop with this email so it wants me to sign in to this gmail account so i'm going to do that so this is the email i click on next then i type in my password i don't know if i remember my password okay got that so you click on allow open microsoft outlook so yeah one moment so this one adds directly because it automatically gets um server settings boom let's see let's add um another account so this is my husband's emails let me so i'm going to okay so this is his email account Hope it won't tell me to sign in. I don't know his password. So now I don't know his password. Okay. Let's go back. Because I don't know his password. Let's go back. Let me add um, another email, which is my other email. Let's add this one. So I just want to show you guys the part where it asks for server settings. So this is another Gmail account. So I'm just going to sign in. Wow. okay okay so it was asking me to authenticate and i'm using the phone i'm supposed to use to authenticate is the same phone i'm using to record so yeah i've done that and i would click allow so click on open outlook so you click on not gmail account so it doesn't automatic automatically sign you in because we want i want to show you guys how to add server settings at all but if it's not a gmail account it will automatically show you um this part but because it's a gmail account it automatically recognizes the server settings and all so it automatically adds the account into outlook so but 
i want to show you guys how to add this manually so you see i click on not gmail account then i'll come here because it's not an exchange account it's not a microsoft account we cannot click on 365 cannot click on outlook.com we cannot click on exchange it's definitely not an icloud account and it's not a gmail account it i mean it's not a yahoo account it's a gmail account but i don't want to add it automatically i want to add it um manually so that you can, guys can get the idea so i click on imap so this is my it's it's filled already because it automatically gets the server settings so this is how it looks like if um you um your domain does not automatically fill um the server settings so this is how it looks like you fill in your email username you type in your password so i'm going to type in my password i type in my password so the income the incoming server for gmail is imap.gmail.com the outgoing is smtp.gmail.com so depending on the email you are using your domain and the person hosting your email so um you request that they give you, they give you server settings to set you, um your email on the outlook account you need server settings to set up your email in the outlook account like gmail now the incoming and outgoing is imap.gmail.com then the outgoing is smcp.gmail.com so every emails have their own server settings and the port number is 993 then the port the outgoing port is 465 they are both ssl to connect and the the in, incoming and outgoing are ssl to connect so when you have a, a, a an email your email provider will definitely um provide you with this incoming server then the ports and if it's um supposed to use ssl or not so they're going to give you all this then once you are done you click on add account so okay so our account is added now and we click done so can you see now this is the um first account we added this is the inbox and this is the second account we added this is the inbox this is the inbox no emails yet the um they are still syncing you can see here sync is pending for these folders okay so the emails are coming in already so this is how to set up um, an outlook account maybe you okay another thing is maybe you already have your emails like this and you want to add a new email account so you come here you you come to tools you click on account then you click on the plus sign to add a new account so when you click on the plus sign it says new account so you click on new account you put your email and you follow the pro so this is how you um set up your outlook account and how to create a new outlook account so guys we've come to the end of this video i hope you learned one or two things from this video i hope you learn how to now create a new profile on your mac device and also know how to add a new account on your mac device i hope this video was helpful for you please let me know in the comment section if um you learned one or two things from this video and if you have any questions or anything you like me to talk more about please let me know in the comment section thank you so much guys for watching 
please do well to subscribe to the channel if you like this content and also share with your friends so that they can learn how to create a new profile a new outlook profile on their mac device and also add a new account if they would like to add a new account on their mac device thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in my next video Bye bye